Good morning, you lovely lot. Um, as you can see, mm, mm, burnt. Yes, I did. I thought, pro, 60 days in, get me on the beach, not very hot. I'll put factor 30 on in a little while because I'm going to go in the sea first. Don't want it to get washed off. Mistake. Mistake. Burnt. Okay, so all here and here, my shoulders, my back. Then I wore a different shaped bikini than I normally wear, so all around my hips, girls will understand where the white bits are. Red raw. Absolutely red raw. So, yeah, yeah like, yeah. What? Oh, so I was about my toothpaste. <laughs> At least you're not cleaning your teeth though, right? So, um, today we haven't got a clue what we are going to do. We are on our bike, uh, we hired it for two days. And we're gonna go to a place called Baker's Hill for lunch. So apparently it's just a hill full of like fresh bakery and I am not eating any more cakes, okay? So you're not gonna see me eating a cake today. Only nice, good things that are not involving cake. So we're gonna go up there, there's a viewpoint. We're gonna go and have a look over the whole Port Princessa and then we're just gonna go for a drive and see what we can find because I cannot deal with another beach day. So we'll see ya along the way. For the day? Yeah, man, I'm always ready. I was born ready. I'm a G when it comes to being ready. He has to wear the bag because I can't rest it on my shoulders because it's too sore. Food time, food time. I'm gonna eat everything. Everyone and anyone and any. Well, Mr. Everything, everyone, okay. anyone. Yeah, you get the picture anyway. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's like a little town thing in the middle of nowhere. Loves the selfie, doesn't he? Mm. Mm -hmm. She's messed up my hairline. I no, didn't even I know. Haven't. I've been walking around looking like a right fool for the last like week. So why? She's just told me now. <laughs> messed up my weave. Must have been too many Filipino chicks looking at me or something. I don't know. <laughs> See when like your car's on like petrol lap and you think shit shit I need petrol fast and you drive to the petrol station and you put in like a fiver and it just goes just above the red line so the petrol light goes off. That is how I feel right now. It's just done me until I get around the corner and get cake. found Shrek, Fiona and uh, Puss in Boots, didn't I? Donkey in the background. And they've invited me into their home. Very nice of them. Hmm. They're basic. Fiona? Not very friendly.
walk around the garden which is just full of love and love quotes and lyrics of songs that are about love and hearts everywhere as you will have seen from the photo we just took and literally like love 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 and then I find this bit contradicting don't you think? What do you think? Kind of where the birds at? Come here. Mm. Snazzy little bowl. Definitely what I need when it's so hot outside. It is absolutely roasted. Pretty cool. Mm. It is actually really nice, refreshing. So sugary though. Orange cake and some like munchies, really uh, like chocolatey little bites. Get them from back home as well, called munchies. <laughs> Got, got the sugar granules in it. No. A really, really light sponge cake. So just next to the bakery, probably about 500 meters further down, you can come to like a big viewpoint overlooking the whole of Portobello Princessa. Have a look at this. Oh, wow. I thought that was a real horse, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> up here for the viewpoint found some horses and now we are on our way back to our place to drop off our bags because we found a cinema for two pounds and fifty per person we're going to see John Wick 2 so we're just gonna head back because the viewing is at 420 and we don't want to miss it so on your bike on time John Wick time. John Wick. Just speaking to my friend Sarah, who said that John Wick is an absolutely wicked film and I'm going to absolutely love it. So I'm um, quite excited. Because yeah. John Wick one was actually really, really good. <laughs> so. Just out from John Wick. If you haven't already, go and see it. Wicked film. Uh, a lot of people actually said that John Wick 2 was better than John Wick 1 and in all honesty I'm a massive John Wick 1 fan so I'm a massive John Wick 2 fan now as well and I actually don't think personally that one is better than the other and normally with films the first one is always the best Ice Age is an exception, second one was better than first but I personally think that actually both films are as good as each other so if you've seen it, let us know your thoughts, but 
what an experience it was so good to come to like a cinema in another country and just see how it works we had to buy our like bits and bobs popcorn drinks and whatever from outside of the cinema and then we were able to go in and watch it and in England um, you have about a million and one adverts on before your film so you're waiting for 40 minutes before it starts we went in bang on time film started straight away England you could learn from this okay because I eat my popcorn in the advert I don't know about everyone else but it's the worst I could crack my popcorn open and it lasted halfway to the end of the film and then I dropped it on the floor so if you've seen it let us know your thoughts absolutely amazing film And that shine is actual just where my face is now plastic leather from being burnt. Pummy. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and gals, we are back in our room. Over here. Is that any peeps? Mm. We haven't had anything to eat yet, it's nearly nine o'clock, but we kind of pigged out at the cinema, so we're going to go for food in a little while. Meanwhile, going through some photos, making some new videos for you guys, and we're going to call it a night there, because we're just going to go to bed when we get back, because I'm shattered. Being sunburned is a tiring job now. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, then subscribe and we will see you again tomorrow. It's the simple things in life. You forget the past.